after the Arctic blast early this month and the recent excessive rainfall, many East Texan cities have issued boil water notices and a few are still active today. Fox 51's Ashlyn Anderson is here in studio to recap the water woes. Ashlyn. Annabelle, this month there have been over a dozen boil water notices issued from leaks to very cold weather, but there's one left that is still active. 13 East Texas cities have issued boil water notices in the month of January. Thousands of residents without easy access to drinking water. Areas like San Augustine, Livingston, and Lindale experience mainline breaks that can quickly contaminate the drinking water supply, which causes the water company to shut it off. As the temperatures drop below freezing, pipes are susceptible to expansion and later burst. The city of Longview had 15 water main breaks due to freezing compared to the 60 experienced in 2021. Kilgore also worked on nine line breaks. This week, due to the constant rainfall, the Natchez River has excessive flooding, causing the city of Palestine to issue a bull water notice on Thursday. The water has risen over the banks. Think about trying to wash dirty dishes with and rinsing with dirty dishwater. You're not accomplishing anything. Pulling debris into the water plant system. Our plant is not capable of treating and removing all that from the water to be able to clean it to its safe drinkable standards. As of Friday, the water has not receded and is still over the bank, but with rain back in the forecast. So it's not gonna help, hopefully we don't get a lot of rain. Urging residents to please be patient. We're trying to do our best. Uh, we're staffing it 24 7 trying to minimize any problems and get this back to normal as soon as we can to stay safe all water for consumption should be brought to a rolling boil until the notice is rescinded olson expects the natchez river to start to come down to normal flow level sunday night and hopes they do not have to extend the boil water notice past monday in studio ashlyn anderson fox 51 news